Hi everybody, this is Canadian Treasure Hunter here. This is one of my job sites here. We're doing the special removal job. And I got about an hour to kill here. So what I'm gonna do is do a bit of detecting here. Maybe an hour detecting the front yard. The backyard's all paved here, so the only potential is near the front. The front's in a part of the boulevard. So I'll let you know after this hunt here. I'm gonna do probably two or three other locations today. Hopefully get a video up for you. All the best, Canadian Treasure Hunter, we're out. Bye. Hi everybody, this is Canadian Treasure Hunter here. We're at another house of mine that we just finished some work up about a week ago. I was planning to detect this yard here about a week ago, but what happened was is still really dry now. Uh, we had a lot of rain here, so it looks pretty good. It's a corner property here, probably about a 1920s style house here. It's got a really nice boulevard here and a nice uh, grass strip in the front here. What I'm going to do is going to detect all the front yard, the side of the house, part of the backyard if I can, and part of the boulevard. Anything good comes up, I'll post it on my video. All the best, Canadian Treasure Hunter out. Bye. Hi everybody, this is Canadian Treasure Hunter here. We've done uh, about a four and a half hour hunt. Two different um, job sites that we did. Just did the front yards only, but the first yard produced about a dozen pennies plus a silver dime. I'll just show you the silver dime right now here. It's a 1958 silver dime. In really nice condition. And then we went to the uh, second hunt there, the one that I have the picture of, uh, which is just uh, must have pulled a hundred pennies out of there. Well, a hundred coins of that second house, but I imagine there's probably another 20 or 30 more coins in the front yard, which is so many signals. It was unbelievable. I hit a 30 coin coin spill, uh, about, a, about a 15 inch diameter, just penny after penny, just one, one after the other. Um, did about like I say two and a half hours at the second house, mostly pennies. But I did pick up uh, a few miscellaneous things here. Here's an old um, a drawer pull from a dresser, pretty old. And I'll show you my pennies here. I picked up a 1955 penny and a 62 penny. That's about the oldest pennies I picked up at at uh, I would say between both the houses. Not sure which ones from where. And then we pulled uh, two dimes, two nickels, and a quarter, all new. And then what we did is we got this, um, looks like a gold color bracelet, a half of a bracelet. Let me show you some design on the side. I had a design there, but I'm suspecting it's probably junk. It's, it's kind of tarnished, but I don't see no markings there probably some sort of heavy plated I cannot even bend it so the metal's so uh, tough there if it was gold I think it'd be a little bit softer anyways I got that thing there and I got this um it's a copper ring it's like a carabiner but a car copper one probably from I would say 20s or 30s heavy copper you probably put those big skeleton keys on there and one of those big carabiner type things and I got also a uh, surfboard type of pendant charm shows a little surfboarder and a shark and then we did get an earring here just a plain earring it's just um, just junk copper plated type thing so we got uh, all these pennies here mostly copper Every, everything was about on that second house was about three inches down it seemed like you know, every foot there was a signal. One or two feet, there was a penny, penny, penny. They just kind of got sick of it, but I managed to get a hundred, hundred coins out of there. So we pulled 106 pennies there, but our total coin finds were 114 coins total. And the best bust item of the lot was that silver dime. I'm just gonna turn the silver dime over here, and you can see the other view of the young Queen Elizabeth there but um, still potential um, the boulevard I got the charm off the boulevard of that second property um, just like I say the boulevard was the same lots of coins it seems like everybody dumps their pennies on that corner because I never seen so many pennies come out of a property like that and uh, I can still detect it and probably pull another hundred pennies out of there it was just signal after signal so what I end up doing is Ignoring some of the higher tones and going for the lower tones. That's why I got some miscellaneous jewelry items and then pull tabs and regular garbage, but 
I pulled about a half a sandwich bag of uh, garbage. Uh, there's some lead, some, you know, miscellaneous um, copper, brass items. But these are some of the better items, which is not that great of, of a find, but still pretty good for, uh, for the amount of coins. You know, every coin here was dug singly, but it was the coin spill was like a, a you know, like say a two foot diameter, but every coin was single. So I would cut a plug, then cut a plug about three inches away, and then so on and so on. It was like Swiss cheese. So, anyways, it was kind of interesting. I was hoping they were a little bit older, but gotta take them as they come. So, anyways, thanks, uh, thanks everybody for uh, subscribing to my channel here and. Everybody, uh, happy hunting, good luck, and hopefully everybody finds silver, silver and gold. That's what we're all looking for. All the best. This is Canadian Treasure Hunter. We're out. Thank you.